Hey, nice to see everybody again. I hope you're enjoying the story time. Well, today's story is called Nuffle Bunny. I bet a lot of you know this one already. You might notice that it won the Caldecott Honor Award. If you see that special medal up here on the book, it means that it was one of the very best picture books of the year. And the year that it was written um, was, oh gosh, actually, I'm not sure. We could look it up and see. But each year, the Caldecott Books award certain picture books, the best books of the year. This one was 2004, so a while ago, but it's an awesome book. Nuffle Bunny by Mo Willems. And Mo Willems is the same author that does all the pigeon stories I bet some of you know and like, like Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. And this one is called Nuffle Bunny. I'll try to get all the pictures in here. It's kind of a long book. I want to make sure you can see them all. Nuffle Bunny. So you can see in the first picture, it looks like two people getting married, and then they have a baby, and here's their family. You see the little baby in the pouch sticking out there. Not long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. And you can kind of see there, there, that's a good picture. There they go. Can you tell what kind of errand they're going to do? Look what the dad's carrying. Looks like a load of clothes, so maybe they're going to wash clothes. Not everybody has a washer and dryer in their house. Sometimes you have to go to a special store called a laundromat to do your laundry. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. Does she look like she's being very helpful? Sometimes toddlers aren't so helpful even if they think they are. She even got to put the money into the machine. So you have to pay to do laundry if you go somewhere else. Then they left. Uh-oh, do you see something wrong? Take a look close in there. Yikes, Nuffle Bunny. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Uh-oh, I bet she realized what she forgot at the laundromat. Nuffle Bunny. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, clavel. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Is that what Trixie is trying to tell her daddy? I don't think so. Trixie doesn't really know how to talk yet, though. She doesn't know words, so she's just trying to make herself understood. Aggle, flaggle, clavel, said Trixie again. Flaggle, clavel, won't be flappy. Stirp. Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. <laughs> Bawling is another word for crying. She went boneless. Oh my gosh, do you see her? She's all limp. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. Oh, she's looking pretty difficult there. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Look how he's carrying her up the stairs into their apartment. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? <laughs> Look at Trixie. The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park 
they zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked. But Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. Nuffle Bunny! And those were the first words Trixie ever said. Look how happy she is now. Do you have something special that you like to hold on to and maybe sleep with at night? Kind of like a Nuffle Bunny? What is it? Is it a teddy bear? Is it a puppy dog? Is it a different kind of animal or a doll? Maybe today you want to draw a picture and maybe even write a little story of your own to go with it. What would happen if you lost your special friend like Trixie lost Nuffle Bunny? Maybe you just want to draw a picture of your special friend. Well, I hope you like the story of Nuffle Bunny. See you next time. Bye-bye.